Yeah, hello and welcome to part two of that morphing tutorial. So, um, what I want to do now is uh, I'd like to create some uh, demons or some some forces to yeah move those uh, particles uh, in a cool way, in an interesting looking way here before they uh, stick to the surface of our uh, silver uh, mesh. Okay, so um, let's go here to our demons tab and let's. Uh, so that's what I found out when I created the stuff that you, uh, you've you seen in the first video, so uh, use the noise field here. And um, with that noise field, uh, on the right hand side you see, okay, the strength is set to 1 and uh, the scale factor is set to 1 as well, it's not bounded. So let's um, just uh, simulate that and see what happens. So let me simulate that uh, through uh, 200 frames and um, I'll be back when that's done. Okay, so um, I stopped it at frame 160 or something. So now uh, what happens here is, uh, yeah, those uh, this noise if, uh, field here has a definitely an effect here, but uh, I think it's um, a little bit too slow. So let's uh, reset the settings here, and let's um, or reset the simulation, and then uh, go to the noise field and uh, uh, dial in. Uh, let's try something like five, um, and let's simulate that. Let's wait a few frames here. Okay. Okay, so this definitely um, is going uh, much faster. So those particles are spreading out, and this is kind of kind of cool. So I'd like to, you know, have this effect. I would say for two seconds here, so sixty frames. So and after sixty frames. I would say we, we uh, have another effect going on. Um, I, I'm not quite sure if I uh, uh, keyframe the uh, the uh, simulation here later on. So maybe I just uh, leave the the noise field on for the whole simulation. But um, for now, I just um, leave it like it is. Um, and uh, let me just uh, delete the noise field here from the global links. Um, so. I will bring this uh, in later on, so let me just select it and hit delete on the keyboard. Let's reset our simulation here. And now let's uh, check out another daemon which works uh, uh, good for this, what we are doing here. So that's the D-spline. Um, so first of all, um, if you want to move any object here in this uh, 3D space, it's like in any other tool. So if you hit W, you can move. If you hit E, you can rotate. If you hit R, you can scale. So let me just uh, rotate the D spline here 90 degrees. Um, so I dial that in here under the nodes. So 90 degrees. And then hit W. And then let me move this maybe somewhere over here. I'd like to have it here in the center of our particles and uh, maybe in the center of the whole uh, thing here and then hit R to scale and then uh, scale this out maybe somewhere about here and then uh, hit W and move it move it back so we want to make sure that uh, you know later on when we um, let this uh, demon here take effect after the noise that uh, you know those control circles here are you know, at the size of our particles, so that every particle here has that effect later on. Okay, so what we have to do here is to scale those um, spline, the despline circles, and you you can't uh, scale those circles here in the viewport. So you have to go here to edit. So click on that, and then we can change the CP radius here. Let's try something like ten. Okay, zoom out. That should be large enough. Um, and now let's um, click here on that next circle. So click on that little icon here, and then uh, type in 10 here under the uh, CP radius as well. And we do this uh, with the last one as well. Click on that, and then type in 10. Okay. And now let's uh, yeah, let's just see what happens if we are simulating this uh, only with that uh, despline attractor or a despline uh, demon so click on simulate okay something seems to happen here okay so it's uh, somehow rotating 
and it's moving along the axis and it's uh, somehow spreading out okay I mean that's a, a would be cool effect if we're uh, what move those particles from from here to somewhere over here and then just um, you know morphing those to uh, the silver uh, text but it's something we could could create here but I'd like to first of all check out the options here so reset my simulation uh, click here on the that's the D spline and then let's check out uh, the other options we have under D spline we have a vortex actual and radial strength um, let's uh, try to dial down the actual strength strength to zero um, and let's uh, dial up the vortex strength to something like five and let's uh, see what happens if we are simulating this just like those okay so those particles are not moving uh, on that uh, axis here anymore they're still uh, rotating and uh, somehow um, spreading out so it takes uh, about 90 frames here to have those at this size okay maybe maybe we dial down that uh, let me first reset my simulation here maybe we want to dial down uh, that vortex strength to maybe like something like like four not uh, just a little bit less strong and um, let's dial up the radial strength to something like five and see what happens if we are simulating this okay and as uh, I mean those those settings here are explaining themselves so if you dial up the uh, radial strength uh, the rotation here is much faster which is kind of kind of cool so it takes about a hundred frames here to get this yeah not too bad okay I wonder how that would look like if we are uh, dialed up uh, you know the number of particles but for now I think I think that's okay so let's um let's only use those two uh, effects here so first um, last let's uh, bring in that um, or is that that noise field so and that noise field uh, should take effect until frame 60 and after that this um, D spline uh, uh, demon here takes effect um, so at first it starts to spread out and then somehow spreads spreads out a little bit more and rotating and then those particles uh, with the magic demon should come to rest on our silver uh, mesh so let's try to create this um, first of all I think we are going to frame 60 and we set a key uh, so with our mm, despline selected so we are setting a key here on the simulation so just hover over or click on the simulation here and then right click and say add key so we keyframed uh, the function active here um, and then we're going uh, one frame back here to 59 and then we set this to inactive and right click and add a key so that means uh, until frames frame 60 the d spline here has no effect um, and then we are bringing back in here our noise field so just drag and drop it here under the global links and then let's uh, just uh, reset our simulation and then let's see uh, what happens um, if we are starting with a with a noise field until frame 60 and then the D spline kicks in so let's simulate that okay we get a slow slow uh, noise movement here Okay, let's. So now the D spline starts to rotate this, and it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Okay. So I would say, okay, uh, to a uh, frame 120, this is looking looking all right to me. So. I think I leave uh, those settings here uh, as they are right now and then um, 
let's bring in our magic demon and again beware of uh, once the magic demon uh, takes effect uh, the simulation time uh, is uh, way slower because this takes you know some calculation time so let's just uh, drag and drop it here uh, down to the global links and then click on that and then let's um, go to frame 119 and uh, with the magic demon selected let's um, set it here to inactive so I, I'd like to have this effect active uh, at frame 120 so at frame 119 I make a so with this set to inactive right click add a key and then go one frame further uh, frame 120 set this to active and right click add a key so let's um, check out the options of our magic um, so the object here is set to silver that's what we did in the first video nearest face random within face let's turn that off and then let's uh, um, dial up the approach strength to something like 10 not 110 and the uh, escape strength to something like 50 let's check out how that uh, looks so I let the this simulate uh, 200 frames so let me just first reset this and uh, yeah I think this is gonna take a bit more time so I'll be back when this is uh, simulated alright so uh, when this was um, simulating I just noticed that um, even if we keyframe our uh, magic demon here so if I click on that so even if it's uh, the the keyframes are working here so that's what I can see up here but the effect um, doesn't work so that's a uh, as far as I know a common uh, bug here in, in Rearflow so what we have to do is um, we just take that um, magic demon uh, under the global links delete it and then uh, just uh, drag and drop it back to the global links here so just drag and drop it and then reset it and um, this time it should work so that's a workaround so let me just simulate that and I'll be back when that's done all right, so I get the 200 frames done here. Uh, took three minutes on my system. So yeah, let's um, to see what's going on here in real time. Let's uh, go here to playback and uh, click here on video preview. So now uh, Realflow is caching this into our RAM or in creating a video. So once the, all the 200 frames are cached, um, we can see this in real time, which is uh, 30 frames per second. Okay, let's uh, just wait another couple of seconds. Okay, so now we get the tiny but uh, real-time simulation here. Okay. I'm pretty happy with, with uh, what I'm seeing here, but um, um, yeah, what you, what you definitely can see so let me close that um, once we're at frame 200 um, our letters are you know we have still have some holes in here um, I think we we uh, can avoid this uh, when we crank up the particle uh, the amount of particles or the number of particles so yeah um, before I'm running out of time here so we are at this point um, I think I'm gonna pause the video and um, yeah let's work on and uh, try to finish the particle simulation in the next video